So I just got off of Pirates. Um, it's almost 3 p.m. Uh, it was a walk on. It's said five minutes, but of course you just walk right up. Um, so there's one detail I wanted to mention. Uh, back in December on Christmas, I talked to a cast member uh, about the different kinds of attractions and like the protocol they did or are doing now for the pandemic. And there's two classifications of attractions for them. You have your screaming attractions and your non-screaming attractions. So I think that's kind of self-explanatory. Um, you know, your thrilling attractions of whatever kind are considered your screaming. Your non, like pirates, is not considered a screaming attraction. So when it comes to the seating arrangement for the attractions, um, on the screaming attractions as of Christmas, I, you know, it could be the same, it could be different, I'm not sure, I haven't gone on a screaming attraction today. Um, if the vehicle, you know, has more than just one party as their passenger, um, then they'll either have like a, a divider, usually like a plexiglass divider, or they'll just space out the, they'll do like every other row. So like, for example, uh, you know, like Space Mountain or Big Thunder Mountain, Splash Mountain, as of Christmas, you know, they would skip a row in between parties uh, for the safety precautions. Um, and of course, you know, a ride like Baymax, which is kind of a screaming attraction, uh, you sit by yourself, so it's not a big deal. Um, but your other rides, for example, like Pirates, a non-screaming attraction, they don't do any separation. Of course, they won't put you in the same row as another party, but, uh, you know, on, on the boat I went on, every row was filled. Luckily for me, I was the first row, uh, so I was a bit more comfortable than that, with that, but just bear that in mind. I, I know each Disney park is kind of different, um, but in Tokyo Disney, um, because I guess the pandemic situation is a little bit different, they don't um, separate um, on the non-screening attractions. I, the cast member did tell me if you request on the non-screening, for example, like your own car, um, the cast members, you know, I guess if, if the ride's not busy, you know, they'll be more than happy to do that for you. I haven't done that. I don't want to inconvenience any cast members or anything, but they, they did say that was, a, that was an option as of Christmas. So again, things could have changed, but I just wanted guys to let you know, I want to update you guys. So you knew when you do come here, if you know if the situation is still happening, um, that breakdown. Because for me personally, uh, like for example, I had that big Thunder Mountain fast pass for earlier and the line, um, I was not comfortable waiting in that line. Not because the time, but because of the social distancing. Um, so I decided to skip on it. You know, Pirates is a walk on, so not a big deal. You know, Baymax um, is a little bit different. I've done that before with the line because they you go through the actual queue. It's a little bit more easier to manage. You can see here, like with Pirates, they have this extended queue. For rides like Big Thunder and Space, there's a lot of that extended queue. And uh, sometimes the uh, the guests don't really follow it. Um, so just, it just puts me in a little bit of, in an uncomfortable situation. So I just, I just skipped those rides. But this is my first ride today at three o'clock. So. Uh, yeah, there's a couple more things I have planned, and I'll just see what else uh, goes along. I did end up choosing, as I open my bag here, I did, just to show you guys, here are the Disney Resort bags. They, they used to, a long time ago, have bags for each event. Like, for example, right now is the Baymax Happy Fair, Happy Fair at Baymax. You know, a year or so ago, they would have had a Baymax bag, but they decided to go with the standard bag, probably because of cost, which, you know, it's fine. There's the Disneyland and the Disney Sea. So I did get my Mickey. Which one did I get? Let's see. I did choose the gold one. Keep it in the bag. But I did choose that gold one. I thought it was really, really nice. Found a good one. And I bought it. I'm very happy with that. But yeah, the um sorry for all the camera shaking. Um yeah, so just remember um they, they do their best with the safety protocols. Anytime you enter a store, there's alcohol um, for you to use. Anytime you leave an attraction, there's alcohol for you to use. Um, when I was eating at the coffee house, the Center Street Coffee House, the party next to me left before I finished. 
and the cast member came over with a, a bleach spray and spread everything down, the seats, the table, everything. Um, and they wear gloves, like, like um, I don't know if it's plastic or, it's not rubber gloves, I, I don't know the material, latex maybe, but they wear gloves. Uh, even in the stores, they wear gloves as well. And they wipe their hands before they touch your stuff, put it in bags if you want it, and so on. So yeah, they're doing the best they can with what they can do during the time. So. Yep, so I'm gonna continue on. And uh, again, like always, if something interesting comes up, I'll show you guys. So I'm currently got my hand stamped. Uh, I'm gonna go check out the Disneyland Hotel a little bit. Uh, not much of it. Um, just the uh, the store and um, maybe a couple other things. But as you can see, the front is gonna be empty because they're not letting any more. I mean, as long as someone hasn't come yet and has a valid ticket, they can come in. But for the most part, the whole rush of everyone coming here is now finished. Um, of course, here is the um, Disneyland station for the resort line or for the monorail line. Again, you do have to pay for this. This is not free like it would be in Disney World and things like that. This is a kind of normal running train line it was in Japan so you have to pay for it um, if you're not like a hotel guest or something like that but yeah we're gonna go to just across the way Disneyland Hotel so is that Mickey clock on the very top Let's see what time it is uh, these these um, lawn rails are definitely way better than those in uh, Disney World I'll tell you that much but yeah what we're gonna do show you the station here just gonna head on over to Disneyland Hotel check out the store take a little break there um, there's no there's no really uh, like quick service within the hotels that I've seen um, so it's not like in Disney World where you have those things you can do and stuff like that it's not really like that uh, but I, I know the, I've been in the inside before of Disneyland Hotel it's very beautiful. I can show you that very quickly. And then, of course, if you follow the resort line down, there are some partner hotels you can stay at. Um, you normally would get the same perks as if you were staying, I believe, in a Disney hotel. But again, you don't get that Disney that Disney feel. And then, of course, if, you, if the train uh, subway line, oh, wow, if the resort line keeps going down, the next stop would be Disney Sea. So yeah, we're just gonna head into Disneyland Hotel and see what they got there. So I just went through the doors, very easy temperature check. There's like a convenience store right there. There's one of the restaurants. Um, I'm not gonna do a full tour. I'm just gonna go up, show you the lobby. But I wanna go into the, actually the uh, gift shop is this way. Let's do that first. On average, to, to stay here at night, it's between 400 to 600 a night, depending on the day and the season. So let's check it out. So every resort does have its, its own exclusive goods. Like you see here, they have like a, a paperweight for Mickey, and another one for Tinkerbell. And again, this says on the bottom, you can't see, but it does say Disneyland Hotel. And this goes for $21. You can see the little plushes, some of the towels. There you go, right there. The Tinkerbell is the same price. It is a lot lighter than the Mickey, I can tell you that much. Pins. Lanyards, pass pieces. These are pretty small, but you see on the foot, Disneyland Hotel. Uh, there are 2,000. So I have noticed the, I mean, you saw the Mickey I bought for um, the new Fantasyland Theater show. That was 21. And it's a lot bigger than, than that. I have noticed here in Mira Costa and Ambassador Hotel, the hotel goods are a bit more. Again, that Disney sports stuff. 
Yeah, the good thing is, in these hotels, you can find some of the special merchandise from the parks here. But the obviously the hotel goods you can only find here. Some toys and some things. Here's more. So here are, uh, for the hotels, if you are a hotel guest, you have the option where if you want to spend uh, $100, you can buy the two plushes and the bag together as a set for 100 But you have to be a hotel guest. So like, obviously like me, I can't buy this. Um, one of the perks I guess you get for staying here. But all the other merchandise is fair game, like this plate and everything I showed you previously. That's all fair game. But the, well, we're eating here too. That's how you would kind of get it. It's like that. So it's 100 And they are nice. But again, uh, you can't just buy them. And here's some of the new Zootopia stuff. Again, more house goods. Some more shirts, plushes. So here you can see is some of that minis. Um, yeah, some of that mini style studio stuff. You can see is here. Again, that's Disneyland. Um, also, some of the Beauty and the Beast stuff. Even that statue thing right there in the Cosworth. And they do have, I mean, kind of go very quick because people are there, but they do have some Bibbidi Bobbidi Boutique dress stuff here. And then some of the confectionery stuff, some of the birthday things. They always have some displays here at the counter. And this is some of the uh, wedding stuff here. These are meant to sit down, that's why he's shaped like that. You can also get a commemorative stamp when you come to the hotel. These are on sale. These are for Soren. A little clear display. Some things. Yeah, sometimes you will see some stuff on sale at Tokyo Disney, but not, not often. From uh, about 27, about half off. So yeah, that's the store here. Yeah, it looks outside. A little good there. And just as you saw, you don't have to be a hotel guest to visit. You can just come in. But I'm gonna think about maybe getting one of these. It's a little pricey, but maybe we will see. But, yep, I'll think about it. Not very quickly. I'm not gonna cut. We're just gonna keep walking. Again, I'm not gonna explore the hotel. I'll show you it. We're just going to keep walking and go to the main lobby, look around it a little bit, and then, um, and then, uh, yeah, maybe head back to the park. Again, there's just, it's just a normal convenience store in Japan. It's nothing special. Um, your standard stuff, maybe a couple extra Disney things, but nothing like groundbreaking. So this is Alice themed. King of Hearts, Queen of Hearts, right there. Of course, you can see Alice across the way. So just up these steps, over here is a lounge. As we walk up. Here is the main lobby for the Disneyland Hotel. Again, there's this lounge you can eat at here. 
that that's what that top window overlooks kind of right, uh, right across the way is the station yeah there you go Got a Peter Pan painting there this fountain here on the top you have Tinkerbell the back side of Tinkerbell and if you notice the elevator there's Donald and the castle and you really can't tell what goes up, but there are some other designs going up. It's really nice here. And then there's this kind of carousel and this house thing down there. And then right here, we have the statue of Minnie and the statue of Mickey. Again, just like that um, paperweight you saw before, that's what these are, right here. They used to sell the paperweight for Minnie, but I guess they no longer do. That's where you would guess check in. And then out here is the main fountain in the front. You can kind of see it, not really, but it's source for Mickey. And then right here is the map for the hotel first floor. That's where we entered with the uh, the gift shop. Like we entered from here. That's that kind of garden area. The gift shop we went this way. That's here. That's the convenience store. We went up the steps. That led us to here. And then that's the rest of the grounds for uh, non-guests to explore. Then everything else is your hotel guests. So, yep, there you go. That's just uh, a quick look at Disneyland Hotel. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll start heading back to the park soon. Take a break here, maybe. Go to the convenience store. And, yeah, I will see you soon. Okay, so I'm back in the park. Took a little break. Here's that Mickey plant, plantary design thing. Uh, I mentioned when it came to those nanoblock toys. That's it right here. Right at the front of the park. Right here's the gate. Here's the Mickey. Um, so in about 20 minutes, I have my uh, food reservation for the uh, Gaston's Tavern, uh, the quick service location. It'll be my first time. Um, they have a few different um, options. They have like a like a hot dog, like a croissant stuff. Uh, yeah. Um, a hot dog stuffed croissant, I guess is the way you say it. Um, they have like a beef stew. It looks kind of like a hot pocket, but obviously a much more extravagant version. And then something that looks like a grilled cheese in a way. Um, I'll show you the menu when we get there. But I was looking at maybe trying all three, but I don't know if I have the stomach for all of them. So maybe just one or two of them. We'll see. But I'm going to make my way there. Show you some of these windows. And... World Bazaar. And I got Cookie Mickey. And Cookie Mini. Again, this area is really, really great, especially when it rains. The rainy season is going to be coming up very soon in Japan. So this is a really nice place to just stay dry. You don't have to worry about anything. Uh, plenty to do in World Bazaar. I mean, I I feel like this entire time I've been here, I've been here the most. Um, which I'm not upset about that. Um, and a lot of things are hidden very well. Like, for example, the Hokusai restaurant right there. Uh, it's a Japanese-style cuisine restaurant. All of the, the restaurant grounds are all upstairs in this area. So, and everything is used pretty well. Um, there's no smell things like in Disney World to bring you into any of the stores. I've never come across any of that kind of stuff here. Um, sometimes when you go past like, like Big Pop, you just naturally smell it. Maybe there they try to, but other than that, you have your ice cream place here. You have a refreshment corner here, which is basically Casey's. It's closed right now. Um, 
they do have a special ice cream thing happening. They're partnered with some company and they have a really like high end uh, ice creams and they normally would. Uh, I'm just gonna walk up to the partner statue here. Sorry for any wind noises. Springtime is in full effect in Japan. Uh, there you go, the castle. Is this the only place where you can kind of see, where you can see Cinderella Castle and then I guess the default colors? Like maybe it is. There's the omnibus. Try to get an angle. There you go. And of course, the writing here. I think in video I've basically walked around the entire park here, uh, kind of a mini tour again. Um, yeah, and the great thing is, um, I didn't show this before when I was taking some pictures here, but we do have some cherry blossom trees in the area. Uh, cherry blossom season is basically finished. Uh, the peak of it was maybe uh, a few days ago, about a week ago maybe. Nice shot there with the cherry blossoms and the castle. There you go. I'm not one much for cherry blossom photos, but when you're in Disney, something nice to do when they're all blowing around. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm gonna head over to Gaston um, and start to get ready, think about what I want to order. And yeah, I'll, uh, next I'll show you, I'll be around Gaston, maybe I'll be inside eating or outside, I'm not sure. And uh, I'll show you what I got, let you know what I think. See you then. Very, very quickly here is the menu again this croissant with the like hot dog sausage on the inside french toast sandwich has some cheese hunter's pie the beef stew kind of roll those are all the prices for the set these are just the main food item we got some extra side stuff so yeah let's go on in let's order right away it smells like the churro the apple kind of cinnamon churro. There we go. I wonder if that has any special meaning. I don't know chess, so someone in the comments, if you can tell me what that means. Let me stand on my line. But it smells great in here. It smells just my, my favorite churro, so I'm very, it's very good. Okay, so this is what I ordered. I, ha I got a, uh, a soft drink here because I wanted to get this coaster. Um, and you had to have a, a soft drink if you wanted to get the coaster. And then I got the beef stew uh, kind of roll here. And then I also got that kind of grilled cheese, looks like, uh, sandwich. And each one of these was 750, 750 yen. 
Um, the coaster is uh, 500 yen. And then, of course, with the drink as well. So, yeah, I'm just going to, you can look very closely, you can see there's that antler design on here. And then all of these come in a kind of Gaston wrap paper. Yeah, so let me uh, go ahead and eat these, do my best, it's a lot of food. And I'll let you know what I think. Okay, so update. I'm eating a decent amount of this. It's the French toast sandwich. I want to make sure I get it right. Again, just to show you the, I'm sorry, the front uh, Tavern de Gaston. So the sandwich, again, it's a French toast. So I, did, I actually wasn't, I didn't know. There's this kind of like sweet uh, powder on the one side. On the other side, you can kind of, on the other side, it's, it's kind of griddled. That's the right term. It's like, I don't know if it's, I want to say cinnamon, but it's definitely a sweet powder. Um, I taste kind of that syrupiness in the bread. Uh, the sandwich itself, it's like a mix of like cheese and I think turkey. Uh, it's pretty good. Um, just definitely expect a decent amount of sweetness that is the French toast, uh, but in like in powder form. Um, oh no. That's the, uh, the uncle's house out there. Uh, sometimes you hear something goes wrong and you hear an explosion. Um, so yeah, this is uh, it's pretty good. I do like it, um, but I didn't I didn't expect it to be a powder sweetness. So I'm gonna finish this and then move on to that. And then I'll come in with an update, let you know what I think. Okay, so beef stew update. I'm eating about halfway of the roll. First, um, it's very flaky on the inside. I don't know if I'm gonna say this is like a croissant, but it's very, very flaky. Well, it's a shepherd's, it's a, it's a pie, right? So maybe it's supposed to be like that. I'm not the best at reviewing food, can you tell? <laughs> but uh, it's very flaky, it's very nice. Uh, the end, the beginning end, it was a bit burnt. So I had a lot of that burnt taste and a lot of the beef stew filling was kind of towards the middle. So in the beginning, the first few bites, I didn't get a lot of beef stew but now I am, and it's very, very good. Uh, you can't see that well into there, but uh, yeah, it's very, very good. Um, it definitely helps against the sweetness of the uh, the French toast sandwich that was right here. So I definitely like this. Um, this is very, very good. I'm gonna keep eating this, uh, finish it up. Uh, but I, I think this is, out of the two, um, this is the one I'm definitely gonna recommend. Uh, there is that croissant kind of like wiener sausage croissant, um, which is probably very good too. Uh, this was just a little, a little too sweet for me than I would have liked compared to with this. Yeah, I know it's French toast, it's gonna be sweet, but I don't know, the, the, powder sugar, the powder sweetness, the powder sugar on it was a bit too much for me to eat as a whole sandwich. Um, but this is very, very good. Nice and flaky, good filling. So yeah, I'm gonna finish this up and let you know my final thoughts. So here's that house I was talking about. Uh, just to show you where I was eating. Um, so here on, around this corner is the entrance to Gaston's Tavern. Um, and then over here, uh, I, I wasn't able to eat on the inside, so I had to uh, come out. And then um, I went inside here, kind of like an outside seating area to Gaston's. The inside area is all over here. Um, just so you know where I was eating. Uh, so my final thoughts, on um, the food I got. Um, I was happy with what I got. Um, I think if you just, when it comes to that French toast sandwich, if you prepare for that level of sweetness, um, you're gonna be really happy with it. Um, I don't know if that's a dessert, uh, no, sorry, not dessert. I don't know if that's like a dinner or a lunch kind of meal because it is fairly sweet. I think for breakfast, I think it's, it'll be great um, if you like French toast. Um, but for me, uh, it wasn't what well, I was kind of expecting that level of sweetness. So, um, I wasn't a big fan of it, but again, that's just, I think my expectations and the timing, um, the beef stew, uh, the shepherd, the hunter's pie, shepherd's pie, hunter's pie. I don't know. The beef stew kind of roll stuff roll. I thought was pretty good. Um, I, it wasn't anything too special. Um, I think 
you know, if, if you're able to eat at Gaston's and you want to try out the food and, and the theming and everything, I think, I think that's a really good option. But um, I don't think it's anything really crazy where you have to come here and get it, you know. Um, the one great thing about Tokyo Disney in general is there's so many good quick service and dining, sit-down food options here where rarely do you ever run into a situation where something is bad. Um, sorry for that one. Again, I thought it was good. Taste was great. As I, as I ate more and more and got towards the end of the roll, I got more and more and more of that filling. So, yeah. Um, just understand that when you uh, maybe get it. Maybe it was just me. But in the end, I know I'm kind of sounding really down on it. Um, I'm, not, I'm not feeling that way. Uh, I am happy with what it was. Um, and if I can go back again, I definitely will. But again, right now you have to use those res dining reservations to get into here. And I think um, I'll, next time I go here, I'll just wait until you don't have to use the dining reservations because I'd rather use that spot for maybe something else. That's a little bit more uh, infrequent that I, I visit. So yeah, so um, all in all, I did like it. Um, now let's um, just hang about and do whatever I can. And then uh, seven o'clock is when I have my Baymax. And then probably after that, I'm gonna head on out for the day. Um, so I have maybe about an hour and a half or so to uh, to kill before I have Baymax. Um, yeah, maybe try to check out Haunted Mansion and stuff. But some of the lines are, at this time, Tokyo Disney is a little weird. Uh, certain times of the day, even after all the tickets are available for people to come into the park and enter, some lines or nothing's happening and it's very empty and then all of a sudden there's lines again so it definitely fluctuates so if this is your you know if you're watching these videos first thank you very much especially this late into the video but definitely research um some more info about tokyo disney and i'm, I'm happy that maybe you're watching this video right now because you're interested in using it as research so thank you um but i know sometimes i ramble on or maybe i miss some key points so you're gonna want to check out some resources online and kind of get an idea of the um, the wait times and the trends and everything like that um, for Tokyo Disney. Um, yeah, just walking back towards that kind of the center, the center hub area, and uh, may go into Fantasyland, check some rides out. Um, we'll see. Maybe just do more shopping or just poke it on about. So. I just like coming to uh, Tokyo Disney and just walking around, uh, just being here uh, does a lot for me. So uh, yeah, again, like always, if something interesting happens on during this day, I will show you. But if not, uh, next time I see you, maybe I will be outside of Baymax getting ready to go. So see you then. All right, in Fantasyland, as you can see in front of me, Here's Haunted Mansion. Yes, Haunted Mansion is right in front of Dumbo. How magical. <laughs> anyway, uh, if you remember earlier in the video, um, Haunted Mansion had a huge line that said the whole 13 minutes no wait, maybe. Uh, but right now, everyone is just walking in. So I'm going to go on in, ride some Haunted Mansion. Uh, I'm going to try to record as much as I can of the ride. It may be very, very dark. Um, so maybe I'll let you guys know when the um, the ride ends so you can kind of skip uh, if it's too uh, difficult for you guys to see. But if you want to hear the ghost host in Japanese, um, uh, give it a watch. Uh, yeah, so let's go. の貴重な書物。これを
者がおりませんかいや私が勝手に選んでもいいんですが。になる決心がついた後でお会いしよう。<笑>
の館に戻って車で続くのです。Be sure to bring death to 